Good evening. This is St. John's United Church of Christ from Pottstown, Pennsylvania. It is April 9th and is our Monday, Thursday evening service. Please join me in the call to worship. God is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? God is the strength of my life. Whom shall I dread? I am seeking your presence, O God. Do not abandon me to my foes. There are people who hate me. There are things that control me. There are places that frighten me. Trust in God. Stand fast and have courage. Help us this night not to fall away. Strengthen our faith. Increase our love for one another. And give us the courage to withstand. Gracious God, you give us the sun to illumine the day and the moon and the stars to shine by night. Kindle in us the flame of your love that our lives may shed abroad the radiance of your light and the world may be full of the splendor of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness. God be with you. Let us pray. O gracious light, pure brightness of the eternal Creator in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the sitting of the sun and our eyes behold your vesper light, we sing your praises, holy God, one in Trinity. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Christ of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Amen. Prayer of confession, words of assurance. Spirit of Christ, be with us now. We may try to avoid this hour of trouble. We may not stay awake. Help us to face our fear of the cross on which you died. Help us face the crosses we must carry to honor your life. We are your disciples, and we too follow you with confusion and fear. Strengthen us, we pray, so that we may walk through life into death without fear, through the night into eternal light. Amen. Please join us in hymn 436, God of Grace and God of Glory, verses 1 to 2. scriptures for this evening, recalling the Passover, Exodus 12, 
1 to 14. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the tenth of this month they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat it. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a year old male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of the month. Then the whole assembled congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at the twilight. They shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they are to eat it. They shall eat the lamb the same night. They shall eat it roasted over the fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Do, need, do not eat any of it raw or boiled in water, but roast it over with the fire, with its head, legs, and inner organs. You shall let none of it remain until the morning. Anything that remains until the morning you shall burn. This is how you shall eat it. Your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals, on all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall observe it as a professional ordinance. A new commandment from Jesus, servant leadership. A reading from John 13, various verses. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that this hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and wiped, down, wiped them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for his feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am you only a little longer. You will look for me 
And as I said to the Jews, now I say to you, where am I going? You cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you will love one another, just as I loved you. You also should love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Community at Communion, God in our midst, a reading from 1 Corinthians 11. For I received from the Lord what I also handed to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after saying, after supper saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Please join us in singing hymn number 207, Just As I Am, verses 1 and 2. Sharing of the meal. The communion table presents an opportunity for reconciliation in the community, to give and to receive forgiveness and service, to hear a new beloved story and to retell it for this moment, to enter the new covenant through the lifeblood of Christ. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. You who come to me shall not hunger. You who believe in me shall never thirst. In company with all who hunger for spiritual food, who come to this table to know when the risen Christ in the sharing of this life-giving bread. God be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift our hearts in praise. Let us give God great most high. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Eternal God, who has created the heavens and the earth, giving breath to every living thing, we thank you for all the gifts of creation and for the gift of its life itself. We thank you for making us in your own image, for giving us when we act as though you have no calm on us, and for keeping us in your steadfast care. We rejoice in Jesus Christ, the only one eternally begotten by you, for who was born of your servant Mary, and shared the joys and sorrows as life we know it. We remember Christ's death, we celebrate Christ's resurrection, and in the beloved community of your church, we await Christ's return at the end of history. We take courage from the abiding presence of your Holy Spirit in our midst. We offer you our praise for women and men of faith in every age who stand as witness to your love and justice with all the prophets, martyrs, and saints and all the company of heaven. We glorify you. Holy, 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 God of love and majesty, the whole universe speaks of your glory of God most high. 
Blessed is the one who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna in the highest. We remember that night of betrayal and desertion. Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, Jesus also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. By eating this bread and drinking this cup, we proclaim Christ's death, celebrate Christ's resurrection, and await Christ's coming again. Amen, Christ Jesus. Gracious God, we ask you to bless this bread and cup and all of us with the outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Through this meal, make us the body of Christ, the church, your servant people, that we may be salt and light and leaven for the furtherness of your will in all the world. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Christ our Passover is offered for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Eat this, for it is the body of Christ broken for you. Amen. Drink this. For this is the blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, you have called your people from east and west and north and south to feast at the table of Jesus Christ. We thank you for Christ's presence and for the spiritual food of Christ's body and blood. By the power of your Holy Spirit, keep us faithful to your will. Go with us to the streets, to our homes, and to our places of labor and leisure, that whether we are gathered or scattered, we may be the servant church of the servant Christ, in whose name we rejoice to pray. Amen. Next, we will do our service of shadows, the Tanimbrae. After each reading, one of the candles we will be extinguished. The Shadow of Betrayal, from Matthew 26. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him, one after another, Surely not I, Lord. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. Shadow of Desertion from Matthew 26. Then Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Peter said to him, Through all become deserters because of you, I will never desert you. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night, before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Agony of the Soul, Luke 22. He came out and went, and was, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives. And the disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them without, about a stone's throw, knelt down and prayed, 
Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish he prayed for it more earnestly, and this and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. Unshared Vigil from Mark 14. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for all things are possible, remove this cup from me. Yet, not what I want, but what you want. He came and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you, slow, st are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Please join us in singing hymn 219, Journey to Gethsemane, verses 1 and 2. John 17. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. I have made your name known to those who you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. That they may all be all one. From John 17. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, 
but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. A rest in the garden from John 18 after Jesus had spoken these words he went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to a place where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered now Judas who betrayed him also knew the place because Jesus often met there with his disciples so Judas brought a detachment of soldiers together with police from the chief priests and the Pharisees and they came there with lanterns and torches and weapons then Jesus knowing all that was to happen to him came forward and asked them for whom are you looking they answered Jesus and Nazareth Jesus replied I am he Judas who betrayed him was standing with them Shadow of the Cross, from Mark 15. Then the soldiers led him into the courtyard of the palace, and they called together the whole cohort. And they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck him, his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then he led him out to crucify him. Let us pray. Gracious God, as those who strive to follow Jesus in our living and to trust your power in our dying, we gather to reflect upon the life that ended on a cross. We recognize in ourselves the strength and weaknesses of Jesus' disciples. Although they loved him, they disappointed and failed him. And yet, gathering with these imperfect friends at this last meal, Jesus washed their feet in service and then extended the bread and cup to each. Jesus called them to love one another and invited them to share in this, his very life and in his acceptance of the road ahead. We are humbled, honored, and inspired by the deep love Christ extended to the world, and we take seriously the calling to be the body of Christ today. Forgive us when we disappoint and fail you and guide us back to a place of trust and faithful living. Grant us the vision to see the world as you see it, with love and compassion for each creature and all of your creation. We pray for Judy, Mark, Bob and Nancy, Dottie, Joan, Dale, Joe, Morgan, Corinne, Barbara and Tom, Jean, Richard, Lois, Paul, Marlene, Chris, Patty and Mike, Shirley, Joan, Sandra, Veronica, Wayne, Matthew, Leah, Joanna, our church and congregation, and especially for everyone who is dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. We ask this in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray to you. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this, this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Our debtors. Lead and us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil, as thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the glory forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Please join us in our closing hymn, number 229, Were You There? All four verses.
into the night, contemplating what Jesus faced on that fateful Friday. Make note of what you are experiencing this evening. May you be continually transformed into the image of Christ, just as Jesus honored God by placing God's will above his own. May God be glorified through our lives. Be of good courage. Trust in God in whom we have salvation and hope. Please join us tomorrow evening for our Good Friday service.